guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm standing in my kitchen because there has been a few things that I've wanted to do around here, kind of doing some reorganizing and a little bit of DIY. We're gonna get a lot in this video. I plan to film this between today and tomorrow because there's a couple things that I need help with from Corey later when he comes home from work. And this stuff is going to be so simple and things that you can do yourself or like find at Walmart. Just some really easy ideas. So let me kind of show you the kitchen, explain a little bit, and then we're gonna get started. All right, I didn't clean anything up because I'm gonna clean whenever I'm done doing some of this. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I need to paint the inside of the pantry. I also am going to make labels for all the bins that are in there and just clean it out really well. Eventually, I think, and I've been debating about this, so many of you guys have asked me if I'm gonna do any faux shiplap in this house, and I've been thinking about it in our other house. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, you know that I did a ton of faux shiplap in that house, and I was thinking maybe if I did it in the back of the pantry and then did this wall, it could look kinda cool, or I would leave that wall go, and then do like wallpaper in the back of the, I don't know, I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Would love to hear that. So that little project needs to happen. And then I've been kind of wanting to bring, let's go into the dining room and I'll show you. Okay, like I said, did not clean anything up. <laughs> so you guys are seeing the real life situation here, but don't worry, you'll get some cleaning motivation in this video too. So this little stand right here, I actually wanna put in the kitchen. Then I have a stand upstairs that I'm gonna bring down here and repaint it. There's gonna be a lot in this video. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch that around now. This also has some paint touch up that needs to happen on it. We had put this little latch on it that is from Amazon to hold it in. So if you have any cupboards, I will try to remember to link this below. Cause if you have any like cabinets that stay open or like don't close right, this little latch thing is really just perfect for that. And as you can see, like through the move, there was things that got kind of chipped up that need to be touched up on this. So like I said, I'm gonna bring that stand in here and I don't know if I'm gonna make this a coffee bar for a while. I might try that out. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this cart, but I know I want to bring that in here and then make that kind of some pantry items that I have up in a different cabinet. And I'm going to go through my cabinets. I've got a lot to do, so let's get started. Here is my current coffee bar and I love it. Honestly, I love where it's at. I love how it is all set up, but I also am somebody that likes change a lot and I like to switch things around and whatnot. So I'm gonna try setting up my coffee bar on that little stand over there. We'll try it out. I may end up moving it back, but I'm gonna try it for a little bit. This is what's left on this side of the room, so I'm going to see what I can pull together. I'm probably going to take that sign down and I might put another one up. I might just leave it down. I might put it back up in a different spot. I'm not totally sure, but I'm going to rearrange this so that it looks nice and can kind of re-situate itself. I love the feel that I've got going on here. I've kind of lightened things up, just kind of fresh and clean. Really, really love how this feels. And I go back and forth between like making things very minimal and then I like adding things. Like right now the living room has a lot going on in it and I love it. Probably after a while I'll get more minimal again. <laughs> but um, just kind of 
used what mostly what I had here. I had this little canister over by the stove with those little plants I had going on. It's actually from Target Dollar Spot and you might be able to find it now. It was pretty recent, but I love this like rusty orange color. You can see it in my pots over there. The other thing I really like about this is it gave me a lot more counter space going on here. So I can do a lot more cooking and things like that over here. Then over here, I also kind of lightened things up, got rid of some of the stuff I had here, got a little bit more bright and light, which feels really, really good. Also, this feels very bright and light too. I don't know if I'll put anything on the chalkboard right now or just leave it like that. I really like it. I wanted to kind of make this a pantry that looked pretty, if that makes sense. <laughs> So I have stuff up in here that I want to move down there and I'm going to make labels for all of these jars and then yeah we'll get into all of this but because I want to rearrange and then I'm going to put some of this stuff in drawers and reorganize all of this. Like I said this is why I'm taking two days to do this video because it's a lot that I have on my list. The other thing I want to do is paint, repaint this door. It's really nicked up. So while I'm painting the pantry, I'm also, you can see, um, like that's not dirt. It's just like scratched off of the door. Since I'm going to paint this, I'm going to go ahead, empty it out, wash it out, and get the first coat of paint on this. I'm gonna let all of this dry. We got the first coat and I don't think the door needs another coat, but I wish you guys could see the door in person. Like it looks like a completely new door. It was so dinged up and just had so many like scratches and everything all over it. It looks so good and feels so much cleaner because I obviously couldn't clean the scratches off of it. But I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. I'm loving all of this. I'm gonna be getting <laughs> Somebody left a ball there. I'm gonna be getting um, everything all organized here soon, but for the moment, I decided I think I'm going to put that cart that was out here underneath of this mirror right here and kind of decorate it. I think it's, it will fit in this little space really well. on the organizing out there for a little bit this video is kind of back and forth and all over but that's okay it's just kind of how it goes sometimes projects don't go step one step two step three they just are all over so 
This cabinet was upstairs in our bonus room and as you can see it really needs to be repainted. It's like really chipped up but this will be a cabinet I will have forever and then pass it on to one of my girls because my mom passed it on to me and I love the size of it. It's really pretty. It works really really nice in here. Um, I am going to take the hardware off of it and spray paint the hardware black. I thought about ordering different hardware, but I kind of think that once they're black, it will look really great. Um, and then I'm gonna roll it with furniture paint, the same color as the table. You can't see it very well here, but the same color as the table. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a coat on it. I'll probably just put some bags underneath of the bottom, so obviously I don't get it on the floor. The inside, the inside's not pretty at all, but I'm gonna leave it the same color because this was the original color my mom painted this cabinet. And um, I just kind of like the fact that it is that color. I wiped it out and stuff, but it still just looks like all scuffed up like it did when I was little. So anyways, love that. And I just want to keep it that way unless one of my girls decides to paint the inside of it. next day and this is as far as my hair made it today and it's the way it's staying because we're gonna get a lot done <laughs> so last night I spent a good amount of time in the kitchen rearranging stuff kind of moving things around kind of figuring out what exactly I wanted to do today how I wanted to organize the kitchen I'm moving cabinets like some things from different places I also pulled out some bins that I had from the Dollar Tree that were in other places of the house that I swapped out for other things, just moving things around that I already have. I got the second coat on the little stand over here and I have the handles done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them back. I'll show you a little bit of what I was kind of working on last night. So I got um, this, there, the bins that are in that thing right there were up here on the top and I had my Ziploc bags and stuff in there but it was just an inconvenient place to have my stuff. Also I will link the video below where I did these shelves to make them look a little bit more like a solid shelf instead of the wire rack ones because that's what they are. It's also when I like initially did um, these baskets and stuff in here. So I put this up here. I'm gonna eventually put rice in here and then I'm gonna make all the labels for everything today. I'm actually going to move the coffee mugs that are up here underneath of there. I added some bins up here also and I'm gonna paint those. I'm hoping I have enough spray paint. So since these were up in those bins and they're not there anymore, I actually want to, this is our junk drawer, it needs to be kind of gone through a little bit, but I wanna move this junk drawer to the drawer that's on the top of that. In our other house, that actually was our junk drawer and it's a big drawer, it works perfect for that use. Um, so I'm gonna move all of this stuff so the Ziploc bags will go in here. And in here, I got the laundry off the table. Um, there's a lot of things just kind of from all over in here. I'm going to redecorate the top of this. I'm going to move around some of my plants that are in here. So this was over where I put that little cart and I think I'm just gonna leave that there and then move this guy into the dining room. Um, kind of, you know, simplify this a little bit more, taking that plant out and then I might paint this bucket black because it'll be in the dining room. What if I open my soul? Here I stand by myself on my own. What if I lose all control? And take a step out into the unknown. Oh, oh, oh. What do I know?
I went on my computer and I just made up these labels for the tops of my jars in the cabinet over there and I will have to cut them out but if you are somebody that doesn't have a like label maker or something like that this is the most convenient cheap option ever sorry my washer's going off um, but these are basically like sticker paper like I will like I said I will have to cut them out individually but they're sticker paper and they go through any inkjet printer which is pretty much any printer out there so if you have a printer you can make your own stickers here I'll show you some others I made so up here I made these little guys right here the bye bye bugs and the adrenal aid and i just cut them out and i just think they look really cute i don't think that you need anything too terribly fancy for something like this I've got the ones printed out for the pantry and you could even use just like Word document or whatever. I actually use a website called PicMonkey um, to make a lot of my stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and put them on the stuff in the pantry. Now I've got baskets in there so I was trying to think of some ideas of how I could attach labels to my baskets. So this is what I came up with. So these are like um, folders that are, I don't know what it is, some sort of a plastic but it's a thin enough plastic that I can cut it. And I just got them at Walmart the last time I went for groceries. And so I'm going to cut squares to put my stickers on. And then I went to the jewelry section, like in the craft area, and I got a little bit of this wire. And I'm gonna punch holes through it and actually attach it to each of the baskets. So then I have my label and then I can just stick the sticker on. And I think this is smooth enough that if I changed what was in the basket, I could actually pull the sticker off or at least scrub it off if I needed to and um, you'd be able to like put a different sticker on. So I'm hoping this works out and I'm excited to see how it looks. Do you guys remember how I told you that I'm gonna start showing you whenever I have things flop or just do things that I don't end up liking? So I don't like how this looks. It's a good idea and if you had something to be able to make this look a little more clean looking, um, just something about this, I don't care for the way it looks. So I decided to leave those without labels. These labels are more for the look of it. It's not really out of functionality. <laughs> this is where all of my canned goods will be. Obviously that will be up there and then this. And then in here will be like extra snacks more than likely. And then I did put the storage labels on the ones on the bottom because I thought they looked nice. And I did bring in my bins from outside. They could use a little more white paint, but I'm out. And the labels actually stuck really well to those. So I'm going to go ahead and leave them like that. They look so nice. I have no idea what I'm putting in here. Again, I decided not to use the black part to attach the labels, but I stuck these on and I actually added a little bit of Gorilla Glue to the back of the sticker to really make it stick on there so that it stays on. I've been slowly changing a lot of things out since I started making my own cleaners and stuff. 
So this is where I keep all of my like dish rags and towels and stuff like that. And then this little thing, if you can see it, is actually from Target. It is the Magnolia line. It's actually like a vase, but it works perfect to hold like my scrub brushes and my little cleaners for the straws and stuff like that. All this is set up perfectly, but I wanted to get some decals for these glass jars right here. This is from my friend Bella at Bella by Design. Um, she has an Etsy shop. And I love to order my labels and things like that for like my cleaning products. Anything that I want to put on a glass bottle like that where I want it to be durable and um, stay on there for a long time. So what I have down here is I've started making my own um, toilet bombs. So these, if you guys saw, I think in my last cleaning video I showed you guys how they like fizz and they clean the toilet really well and they smell really good. So that's going to go on that one. And then this one is actually my homemade dishwasher tabs. And I need to make some more. I don't think I'm going to get to it today, but I probably will do it in my next video. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in how I make my dishwasher tabs. Um, and this is the label that will go on that one. All right, before I run off and take a shower and get this paint off my hands, all the good stuff, I'm really excited to show you how everything turned out. Here is the dining room, and if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that this table was my childhood table, and I redid it, got these chairs for it, and I just love this room so much. I did not get a chance to paint that bucket yet today. I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint it. Let me know in the comments what color you think would look nice in here. Maybe even doing the same color as the mirror um, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do I left the centerpiece the same for now but I love how this looks I'm just so excited to have this piece down here and be using it and this was such a great find I think it was like under $10 at Ross I had found a while back and I knew I wanted to use it in here and it fits so well and I love just the little pieces that can go inside of it. I changed around the way that their table was. It had the four chairs and I took one of the chairs back to Hazley's room and just kind of had it this way. I think it gives us a little more walking space here and um, just works out a little bit better. And then this cord goes into the lighting that's inside of the pantry and I need to get um, like a cord cover that goes along the wall. There, we have the same thing in our living room just to kind of make that cord tucked away a little bit there. I'm really excited about this coffee bar. Corey was too whenever he came home last night. Um, it's just kind of a nice little nook here and it's actually given us a lot of storage. Down in here are my jars and I did save this um, on my like editing my pick monkey account and I'm going to be able to like access it if I need more jars or need to change the labels but I just love the way that they look and then up here I've got all of our like coffee mugs and stuff and to be honest if we have more than this I really think <laughs> that's a little crazy for you know two people or just a few friends so um yeah that's the way that looks on the inside okay then over here oh and I wanted to also also make note Everly sitting over there on the couch the other two are taking their naps but um, yeah just how different it kind of looks without the bigger plant in here but I kind of like it I, I'm ready for a change in here and I like the smaller plants oh and also I can show you guys this little corner so this is kind of how this turned out I like it I may end up changing it around I don't know um, because I might want to put another bigger plant here eventually but for now it's cute and I love the colors that it brings in then under the sink um, you guys had seen how it looked before I did add some little hooks in here for my kitchen cloths that I use from Norwex and then down here I did add these little labels I love the way that they look this is like where we keep our trash bags and um, the rest of my cleaners and stuff this drawer I didn't need to do anything to it's just kind of odds and ends and then where we keep our knives in here same thing I didn't really have to do anything to this um, it's just where like my big mixer is and then my mixing bowls got the lids for the kids stuff their cups go in here which there's a bunch of them in the dishwasher right now and then just empty space for the moment I don't know if I'll get more bins for in here for other things 
or what I'll do in there. And then over here is our like dishes and that pretty much stayed the same also. This is our silverware drawer, a, just a super simple drawer and I love these dividers from Target. I have another one you'll see um, on the other side. They're just simple and you can clean them out really easily. Then down below here I've got all of my like containers and just things that we would store food in and then this bin just holds all of my lids this pretty much stayed the same also okay up in here you guys saw all of that and I didn't add anything to the bottom I don't know what I'm gonna do in there yet below here is just where like all of my cooking utensils are and this is also from the same line at Target that I really like where I keep my instapot also where I put my hot pads and just a couple extra cooking things I use this so often I'd say I use this almost every other day so this is something I just need to be able to get to easily and quickly up in here nothing really changed this is um, like where I keep my essential oils and like supplements then I did add that in um, actually down where the lids are you guys saw there was a bunch of my silicone molds that I used to make a lot of different things and um, they were kind of annoying because they were floppy and didn't really fit in where the lids fit so I went ahead and just stuck them up here and they're tucked away but yet yeah, I can get to them quick so now in here is all of my Ziploc bags which is convenient then down in here is where I keep my blender my cutting board and that bin holds um, some other random stuff that I use this now holds the junk drawer stuff which is really convenient I like that this is all in here and um, I like the size of this we kind of need the extra room anyway last but not least is the pantry and this door I just every time I walk past it I'm like it looks so much better since I repainted it it was in such bad shape so here is the pantry and you guys got a pretty good look at it before and pretty much explained where everything is I love this thing down here usually whenever I show it people want to know where that like cube systems from it's from Amazon I will try to remember to link it below and um, our trash can that's in here that I cannot seem to make look shiny no matter what I use on it I think it's just a cheap stainless steel type stuff and now it's all marked up and it's just the way that it is anyways thanks a lot for watching guys if this inspired you definitely give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new and I'll see you guys in my next video